Hi, I'm Joe DiGiulio, and I'm going to give you a quick lesson on Matisse Derivan's liquid pencil. It's a new product that's out. It's an acrylic polymer mixed with a pigment and water. A little bit more unusual than a regular typical acrylic paint. Uh, the liquid pencil is finely ground, and the pieces I noticed when I was using it are kind of suspended in there, like little specks. But you can use this to do value studies. You can use this to do any kind of uh, wash treatments that you want. I particularly, because I am an abstract artist, would like to use it to do that. I just kind of create fields of color. The kind of the neat thing is very subtle. I can use the different colors. They come in sepia, red, yellow, blue, and there's two kinds of gray, a gray number three and a gray number nine. Uh, what we can also see here is that by applying this, I'll use it as a wash just like you would if it was like a, a watercolor. Uh, the, the important thing to know is I'm using the black top or the permanent ones. They make the liquid pencil as well with a white top or a rewettable one. The rewettable ones you can do lifts like with watercolors, but me I'm using the permanent ones because what I want to do is I'm going to create fields of color in an abstract manner but I can come back because it's not rewettable and actually use it to go ahead and make layers of color on one on top of another. So I'm just going to start here with the red and just break up the field a little bit. You can see it's got the dark gray tones to it, but it does have like a, ray, a, a reddish kind of casting in the shadow. So uh, you can kind of do anything you want, very liberal with it. You can work it out. Uh, actually, you can scrub some of it away, pushing it around using a palette knife as well. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using uh, the uh, Polar Flow. It's a two-inch wash brush, one of my favorites to use, uh, to go ahead and spread that out. And also, you can kind of see, I kind of like to divide the work up into like thirds when I create. Uh, my sheet of paper, just think of it like tic-tac-toe. Uh, that's kind of what I'm doing right here. So I've got a little bit of red down right now. In my paintings, where I'm mixing the liquid pencil as well as the acrylic paints, in the, uh, the, in the final project here. So um, enough of that color. I'm going to induce a little bit of another color here. One of my favorites, I think, is the blue. It's the one that I really do like. Uh, what blue will do is actually, uh, it, it gets almost like a turquoise to it, but I can just kind of do anything you want. Just break it out there, not really kind of uh, important about which way I'm going with it. Now, if you were a classic representational artist, this is excellent for doing any kind of like value study or monochromatic work. Uh, if you're going to do something representational and like instead of go ahead and sketching with pencils, I can create a whole field very quickly here with just the brush. If I want to, I can take a little bit of rubbing away. The nice thing too about this is that when it dries, you can actually burnish just like as if it was graphite. That's a really nice technique that can be done with the liquid pencil. Now this is an absolutely brand new product that has just come out in the marketplace. Our friends at Matisse Derivan in Sydney, Australia, uh, the developers of this, you can see it. They can make some actually very interesting techniques with it. So now I've kind of got a wash. I would normally let that go ahead and sit for a while. When it's completely dry, in just a matter of minutes, I could come back with another color and actually create glazes of color with it. But the acrylic polymer, the graphite, and the pigment are all kind of mixed together. Uh, let me correct myself, actually. The pigment is, the graphite is a pigment. It looks like a graphite, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that it's actually uh, just a pigment that has a graphite look to it. But it still does retain those qualities that a graphite uh, will, a pencil will be able to use, and the fact that it can be burnished. Now see, I'm coming in, this is the yellow. Although it looks green, once you wash it out with water, or, in my case, I'm going to actually use a little of the Matisse's acrylic painting medium because if I go over 50% with water, uh, the permanent can get rewetted. Re it loses its adhesion properties. So, I just want to go ahead and play with this and let it go on and work it out for a little bit. Just kind of letting it go any old way. I love to use the Polar Flow wash set for this. 
it will really bring out the color. And you can see how I pulled 